Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam, and today you will learn about aortic valve stenosis on echocardiography. Aortic stenosis is a narrowing of the aortic valve opening, which obstructs blood flow from the left ventricle into the aorta during systole. The valve does not open properly when the heart contracts. This improper opening of the aortic valve leads to an increased pressure in the left ventricle, which can lead to concentric hypertrophy if the stenosis is severe. In concentric hypertrophy, the heart muscle thickens. If the stenosis is left untreated, it can lead to heart failure. It is commonly caused by age-related progressive calcification of the valve leaflets, or it is associated with atherosclerosis risk factors such as hypertension, hyperlipidemia, and smoking. In echocardiography, this is the aortic valve in the parasternal long axis view. You may find hyperechoic calcifications on the aortic valve leaflets. These images show the normal aortic valve in the parasternal long axis view. The image on the left is taken during diastole when the heart relaxes. This is the aortic valve. It is seen closed during diastole. This image on the right is taken during systole and the aortic valve is opened. We can measure the aortic valve area, the peak and mean blood velocity across the aortic valve, and the peak and mean pressure gradient on echocardiography. The normal aortic valve diameter is greater than 2 cm squared. The peak valve velocity is between 2.5 and 3.5 meters per second. The mean velocity is less than 2 meters per second. The peak aortic valve pressure gradient is less than 20 millimeters of mercury, and the mean pressure gradient is less than 10 millimeters of mercury. These are parasternal short axis views showing the normal aortic valve during diastole and systole. The three cusps can be noted. This is how this valve appears during the cardiac cycle. We will compare the normal aortic valve image with aortic stenosis. On the left, we have a normal image with color Doppler applied. With the help of color Doppler, we can determine if the blood flow across the aortic valve is normal or disturbed. Normally, the color Doppler will show a single color, either red or blue, depending on the probe position. Presence of a single color means that the flow is smooth and homogeneous across the aortic valve. During systole, the forward flow through the aortic valve forms a narrow, centralized jet into the ascending aorta. In aortic stenosis, especially moderate and severe stenosis, color mixing will be seen at the aortic valve and in front of it, over here, during systole. You'll see many bright colors, a mixture of yellow, orange, and blue colors at the aortic valve, during systole. In mild aortic stenosis, you may either see a normal aortic valve or thickened calcified hyperechoic valve leaflets on echocardiography. In real-time imaging, the valves may move slower than normal. Spectral Doppler is very good in classifying aortic stenosis into mild, moderate, and severe. The main spectral Doppler parameters to note in stenosis are aortic jet velocity mean gradient, and aortic valve area. In this image, we see the spectral Doppler waveform at the aortic valve. The mean velocity here is normal. It is less than 2 meters per second. The peak velocity is just over 100 centimeters per second, or 1 meter per second. The image on the right is of mild aortic stenosis. In mild stenosis, the jet velocity is between 2.5 and 2.9 meters per second. The mean gradient is less than 20 millimeters of mercury. The aortic valve area will be greater than 1.5 centimeters squared. In moderate aortic stenosis, you may find color mixing or a mosaic pattern at the aortic valve during systole, and a multicolored turbulent jet appears downstream of the aortic valve 
On spectral Doppler, the aortic jet velocity is between 3 and 4 meters per second for a moderate stenosis. In this case, the peak velocity is between 3 and 4 meters per second. The mean gradient is 20 to 40 millimeters of mercury. The aortic valve area is 1 to 1.5 centimeters squared. Here's another example of moderate aortic valve stenosis. The peak velocity on spectral Doppler is just above 300 centimeters per second or 3 meters per second. This is an indication of moderate stenosis. In severe stenosis, the turbulence and the mosaic pattern are very prominent. This type of color mixing is very commonly seen in severe aortic stenosis. In severe stenosis, the spectral Doppler will show an aortic jet velocity greater than 4 meters per second. Here, it is almost 5 meters per second. The mean gradient will be greater than 40 millimeters of mercury. In this case, it was 53 millimeters of mercury. The aortic valve area is less than 1 centimeter squared. Here's another case showing a peak aortic jet velocity greater than 4 meters per second, which was due to severe aortic stenosis. Here's another case of severe aortic stenosis. The aortic jet velocity here is also greater than 4 meters per second. These apical five chamber views show blood flow across a normal aortic valve and across a stenotic aortic valve with color Doppler applied. Normally, we will see a single color across the aortic valve. Only the blue color is seen here. This indicates a normal, smooth blood flow through the valve. But in significant valve stenosis, we will see color mixing at the valve during systole. This indicates disturbed blood flow at the aortic valve. We will know it is a stenotic valve and not a regurgitant one because the color mixing will occur during systole. In a subvalvular aortic stenosis, there is a small membrane present just below the aortic valve. It is a congenital condition. An echogenic ridge-like structure will be seen just before the aortic valve in echocardiography. This is the membrane and the aortic valve is over here. This membrane can cause aortic valve stenosis. Subvalvular aortic stenosis can also be seen in apical five-chamber view. This is the echogenic ridge present near the aortic valve. Normally, this ridge is not present. It is a rare condition. In supravalvular aortic stenosis, a similar ridge or narrowing is present above the aortic valve. This narrowing is also congenital and rare. It will be seen as an echogenic structure in front of the aortic valve. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.